Hello and welcome to this highly anticipated video. Today, it's current event news with Goober. Ladies and gentlemen, your host, Goober. I've seen the millions of tweets from celebrities to fans to everyone saying with all these things happening right now, we gotta get Goober's thoughts on this. And at first I said, no, 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 I can't. I just can't fit the time in my busy schedule. But, you know, I think now more than ever, it's, it's important to, uh, t to listen to the people that look up to me the most. Before I start this video off, I'm just gonna let you guys know, only like a percentage of you, like a literal percentage of you guys, are actually subscribed to watch my videos. So if you go on to enjoy this video, consider subscribing. All right, let's get into it. Okay, I took just a few days off. Just a few days off of constantly checking in my, on my girl Ellen D. Ellen DeGeneres. I just took a couple days off and and here I see her all over the news and she's evil now? So basically, guys, I've seen a lot of videos around the internet and a lot of a lot of tweets and stories that Ellen Ellen's not who she is on camera. And I'm not going to give my opinion cuz this show is purely facts. But I think that it's not really a big deal. It is just a lot of words. So hats off to Ellen for never getting this caught on camera or anything and never having like a bad fan experience because like her fan base is still really strong and I think some of the things the YouTubers are finding to put in these like Ellen goes crazy berserk things. So before the show I put out some Ellen products with a sign that said only one per person. These are too small. Okay, I'm ready. I think the is Hello. I... <laughs> What's your My name? My sister couldn't come, so that was her souvenir. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. A lot of people's sisters couldn't come. Are just are just her sense of humor, you know? Like her her staring at an audience member, like <laughs> after they steal a piece of clothes. That's that's just her like being funny, you know what I mean? But like the stories about her getting a haircut and then like making fun of the girl who gave her the haircut even though she rushed her and stuff. You know, I totally get that because sometimes celebrities are brats and they forget that they're they're hum human too. They need a humbling experience. But uh, yeah, so that, that's really my thoughts on that. A lot of the stories of her doing stuff live is it, just her sense of humor, and I feel like a lot of, some people don't get that. And they're, they're like Ellen's being mean, but nah, she's really just being herself and you guys think it's mean but uh, no you know I believe it except the stuff on her show is a little bit exaggerated from the people making these types of videos our next story murderous hornets from Asia okay Asia check your priv you just got hit by a goober check your priv y you spread this virus you send murderous wasps USA to kill innocent honeybees. What what have they ever done? Sting ya? Have you tasted honey? Have you looked at pollinated flowers? Apparently not, because <laughs> because you have zero respect for bees. The bee population. You wasp. Check your priv to the watch too. That's two check your privs in an episode right there. Check your priv. Hey guys, it's Goober from Editing, and I forgot to mention this about the murder hornet story. Hornets can kill up to 40 bees a minute, except the bees kill wasps, and hornets are just a type of big wasp, can kill wasps by just swarming it. So as soon as the hornet comes in, and they actually murder the, horn the honeybees by ripping its head off, as soon as they do that, the honeybees will go in and swarm that murder hornet until it heats up and dies. They don't sting it. It's just like any other wasps, actually. That's how bees kill wasps normally. And that's why the bee population isn't in too much danger, because they can protect themselves. So, that's just what I wanted to say. Alright, get on with the video. Yeah, these wasps look super, super scary, guys. Especially coming from a guy that, like, when he sees a bumblebee, will flinch super hard. Because they're, maybe it's just because they're loud and big. Even though bumblebees can't sting you. Yeah, it kind of sucks, but I, again, I feel like people are overhyping it. You know, it's 2020. People's emotions are just off the charts, so when something like this happens, it's like too much to bear. It's such a low chance that you're gonna get stung by these guys, except yeah, they do really suck and sting super painfully. But like, if you've seen the Brave Wilderness episode, which is the dude that gets stung by everything, 
Coyote Peterson. He spent days trying to find this thing, and when he found it, he had to trap it and force it on himself with like pliers to get it to sting him. It's it's just like any other wasp or bee in the sense that it's not out to kill. And sure, it might sting you, but so might any other bee. So I wouldn't actively worry about them. All right, next story. Jojo Siwa's got respect now? Jojo Siwa's got respect? That's right guys. Jojo Siwa, almost overnight, went from this annoying little girl to a normal celebrity that people like and respect. And it's basically because on TikTok, she was like, yeah, I, I do little girly stuff. That's literally my audience, so if you don't like that, that's because you're not in my audience. I've never had a scandal. The fact that you're hating on me is just stupid, and everyone else is kind of like, I mean, yeah, that, that's fair. And now everyone is like loving on Jojo Siwa. And don't get me wrong, I never liked her content, but I didn't go bullying her on social media because I'm not her target audience. And that makes sense, that's that's for everyone, any kids creator. The fact that she puts her face every, on everything is just a baller move. Like I, I would never, I would never put my face on anything like that. Like the internet's fine, but like clothing and cars, that's too much. Respect for Jojo, I was never a fan of her. My feelings haven't really changed. I'm on the inside, like, I'm satisfied that people are finally starting to like her because th they didn't like her for no reason. I'm not supposed to give my opinion, but like this one special time, like I get one opinion per episode and this is the one. Um, yeah. I like how she just stuck to her guns no matter how much people bullied her. You know, she never changed her, her style of content. I see similarities between her and like Tyler Brash on TikTok. He was just making point of views, and then Max Dressler was bullying him for it, and everyone kind of kind of joined Max at first, but then realized that Max is just being a giant bully, and now the roles have completely switched. Tyler has everyone's respect, and Max doesn't. And you know, it's just like what goes around comes around. Good job, Jojo Siwa, for gaining everyone's respect. Good job for not changing your content to anyone that does that, and that's that should be a PSA. You know what I mean? Like if. If you enjoy doing something, don't let other people talk you out of it. Eventually, one day, either they're gonna get what they deserve or you're gonna get what you deserve. Next story. Why am I clapping like meme review? Jeez. This is already almost ripping off Pew News and now I'm like doing his transitions. All right. Next story. Elon Musk's child is named Bruh. I still don't know if it's actually pronounced Kyle. The first day it was like X Ashy. 12 or something. There is another thing to the story that says his name's Kyle, and I almost don't want to do any research on this whatsoever to find out what the actual name might be. My personal opinion, even though I'm not supposed to give it, but it's always factual, so you can trust me. If you can't trust a guy wearing a suit, who can you trust nowadays? So my personal opinion, educated opinion, I've been to high school. Is it's a stupid name, Elon. I get what you're trying to do, man. I love you. You keep trying to do more, more and more things. You introduce a new wave of electric cars. You you're trying to start commercial space travel, and now you're trying to get the new wave of names that have more meaning to it. The X means something. The A E whatever that thing is means something. I get that it has more meaning, and I get that it looks cool. But really, Elon, if you don't start this wave, if it backfires on you, your kid is gonna get either bullied or like worshipped and he's he, his name is gonna define him for sure and it, it's really unfair to do that to kids I think you shouldn't name them names that are too abnormal it'll just make their life a living nightmare don't do that to little kids and if it does turn out to be a joke I won't be surprised but I don't think it is and that's that <laughs> I'm looking at the list of things that I wanted to cover today and I wrote apple juice crunch now, it did take me a little bit to find out what I meant by apple juice crunch, but I mean this. You're a good apple. How's yours? It's pretty good. Wow, that was so cool. You bite into a little thing and it goes Just like an apple. I don't know why people are so hyped about this. Like, yeah, it's it's really cool, but I don't want, I don't know why people are like that can't be. I don't know why I wrote down the apple juice crunch. Is that really a current event news topic, guys? Everyone wants to know. What does Scoober think about the apple juice crunch? We got a special guest today. Uh, he is a YouTuber with around 1.8 thousand subscribers. Uh, he makes videos very similar to us. 
and I hear he has a new, a new opinion. A new opinion. That's bold around here. It's bold. Goober, can we, can we get that interview? Hi, Goober. Yes, you may. Today, we're being joined by, by Goober, a man who claims that he can't watch diving videos or baseball videos anymore on TikTok. Uh, Goober, tell us why. Uh, hey, yeah, thanks, Goober. Um, yeah, so I was just scrolling through TikTok the other day, and I, I saw some, I saw some hockey videos, I saw some, fo I saw some football videos, and then I saw some baseball and diving videos. And you know what? I used to really enjoy those videos, but, but I just, I just can't anymore. It gives me, it gives me too much anxiety. And why do you think that is? Why do you think that is? Goober? Well, well the baseball videos ones are pretty straightforward. People prank you all the time with the swing of the bat and the ball comes flying at the camera. Makes you flinch a thousand feet. But, but the diving videos, if I had to guess, it would probably be because last summer, the last time I tried to go on a diving board, I slipped and twisted my ankle when I tried to do a flip and landed belly first into the pool in which I knew the lifeguard and he watches these videos and now anytime I see someone on the diving board I think they're gonna slip and fall but like <laughs> if I had to guess that'd be it but I, I just don't know Goober I just don't know well I think that's all for this interview back to the main desk Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you went on to enjoy, consider leaving a like. Consider subscribing. Because only a fraction of you guys are actually subscribed that watch my videos. And uh, it'd mean a lot to us if you guys subscribed. Uh, comment down below. I respond to every comment. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.